What's up everyone, Sage Town here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be talking about my favorite WWE video games. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the WWE, but also I am a collector of the WWE video games. And in the past 15 plus years, I have not missed a WWE game that has been released. So I'm really excited to get into today's video. Let's just get started here. Up first is SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Now this game here is not the first WWE game that I've played. The first one that actually got me into the series and into the WWE games was SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. I love that game so much that I decided to purchase 2006 and a few of the previous ones. And some of the ones that I'm missing, I am still currently on the hunt for them. Now this game here, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, the reason I loved it so much was because it was the first year of GM mode, which was one of my favorite modes to play in the WWE. I spent hours playing it on SmackDown vs Raw 2006, 2007, and 2008. And honestly, had a blast. It was awesome, and I always chose SmackDown because of the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, I never was a fan of the women's division. The only reason is because on GM mode, you got more ratings with the men, so I always chose SmackDown, so I always had another men's championship. I always had the Cruiserweight Championship. And also, the career mode back then was a lot of fun. You got to choose your wrestler or create one. It was up to you. But if you chose a wrestler, for example, John Cena, you went through the career of John Cena, and you got to go for challenges. You got to challenge people for their championships, you got to do rivalries, you got to do a lot of great cutscenes, and it was a lot of work to produce that, but as a fan, we absolutely loved that. It's way better than the career mode nowadays, because nowadays, let's face it, you're only doing created wrestlers, so that right there is a downfall for me, but on top of that, it is just lacking the charisma and the dedication as you did back in the day, because sometimes in the current games, you have to win to advance even further in your career. Whereas in the previous days, for SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and around that era, if you're in career mode and you lost your match, you'd move on. You wouldn't go and continue on with winning the championship or that might just be a downfall in a rivalry, but you'd continue on your career. You wouldn't have to redo that specific match and get that win in a certain way. So that's why I love these games as opposed to the current WWE games. Next up is WWE 2K16. This game right here is one of my favorite WWE 2K games because it is the one that had Stone Cold Steve Austin not only on the cover, but he was the guy that was part of Showcase. And in my opinion, that was the best Showcase mode because it really got to show the Attitude Era and the Aggression Era, which the Aggression Era in WWE is one of my favorite eras. And I absolutely loved everything that that story brought. On top of that, as a collector, I also received in the case for the game, the Stone Cold Collector card, which was awesome. Now, as a collector, just getting something more rather than just the game is awesome and this game did include that. So the story was amazing and I absolutely loved that they gave that little Stone Cold Steve Austin trading card because that to me was awesome. Next up is obviously SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. This one here I absolutely loved because the mechanics were a little bit better. You had to do a lot more. Career mode was a lot more advanced. They added a lot more elements into the story modes and characters and different things like that and cutscenes, which was awesome. You also had a continuation of the GM mode, which this game here I thought was a little lacking as far as superstars. For example, the Cruiserweight division in the previous game, you had guys like Tajiri, Hurricane, uh, other ones. This one here, you had a lot less than you did in the previous game and a lot less greater ones. I think the best Cruiserweight was uh, Rey Mysterio obviously, but it was just lacking there. But still this game here, I spent a lot of hours. The mechanics were a lot better than 2006 was. And this one here, I absolutely had a blast playing. Next up is SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. This game here was the first game that I've played that you could actually roam around backstage before your matches. So you got to go and tour basically the backstage, the outside area, the broil broiler room, 
the parking lots and everything like that. You got to interact with wrestlers backstage and there's a whole lot you can do. Now for career mode, you could also at the beginning draft the rosters. Even though you're not in control of the roster and it's not like a GM mode by any means, you got to draft what wrestlers are on which brand. So you can have a bunch of the top wrestlers that you want to interact with on one brand and all of the lower ends and not great wrestlers on a completely separate brand if you wish. I always played as The Rock for some reason, which always had his track pants and his shirt on. Not really the best attire for The Rock, but that's who I usually always played as, and I absolutely had a blast. On top of that, the I Quit match for this game was amazing. You got to basically pick the destination of where you were, either it was backstage, the bar across the streets, uh, somewhere else. You got to pick the destination, and you could go through and just move location to location playing the I Quit match, which is something that I wish the current games would include again, is the I Quit match, the Infernal matches, and other matches like that, even special referee matches. I wish the current games did include those as well, but SmackDown Shut Your Mouth was definitely one of my favorite games. After purchasing 2007, I did go and purchase this game here and I played it a ton. Loved the career mode and loved a bunch of the other game modes in it as well. Next up is going to be SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. This was the last year that there was a GM mode in the game until 2022 came out. Now this game here, the GM mode was by far the best, the most advanced. The gameplay itself, the mechanics were more advanced. The wrestlers in the game had a lot more detail to them. Now comparing if you had the PS2 version versus the PS3 version, the PS3 version, the graphics were 10 times better than the PS2 version. And I believe this is the first game that had the PS3 version. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it is. Now this game here, it was incredible. I played it on the PlayStation 2 though, and I just had a fun playing the game, drafting my roster, and just going through and having a blast. It was the first year that had ECW in it, so on GM mode, ECW was its own separate brands. Now, I never chose ECW for GM mode and ran ECW. Again, I always chose SmackDown because SmackDown had World Championship, uh, Intercontinental, or sorry, United States Championship. It had the Cruiserweight Championship and a Tag Team uh, championship, whereas ECW only had the ECW World Tag Team Championship, so I wanted more championships to kind of drive ratings, and that's what I always did. But I did always, for SmackDown, choose a bunch of the ECW wrestlers, and this game here was by far one of my favorite WWE games of all time. It was just a blast, and I still play it to this day because it is so iconic to me and a huge part of my childhood. Now, there is one game left that I am gonna be talking about in this video, and that is currently, other than SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, currently my favorite WWE game, and that is WWE 2K22. Yes, the last WWE game that just came out after a year break from not putting out a game because WWE 2K20 wasn't the greatest. It was great for me, but a lot of people experienced a lot of glitches and everything, and it honestly wasn't the greatest. So this game here, Finally had a lot going for it. Up first, you have the Rey Mysterio uh, kind of look at his career, which was awesome, and got to play all of those matches, which was insane. You have a lot of legends in this game. The only downfall is, when it was released, there's a lot of wrestlers that are no longer part of WWE in this game. If I had a count, it'd be 20 to 30 wrestlers that are in this game that are no longer part of the WWE, so that's a little frustrating, but it is an insanely great game. They upgraded the mechanics, they upgraded the graphics. The graphics are insane on the PlayStation 4. You also have the return of the general manager mode. Now, the return, it's not the greatest. You can only have, I think, three matches and two promos. You can't trade, you can't sign to lengthy contracts. Whenever you sign somebody, it is for the whole year or the whole term that you are playing the GM mode. So it's not the greatest GM mode, but it is a lot of fun and it does have a lot of promise for future games because let's face it, in WWE 2K15, whenever they released the career mode for the first time once again, 
we did see that the career mode was just not the greatest. It was kind of on the terrible side. This game here, even though GM mode's not the greatest, it does have a lot of promise and hopefully in the future will be a lot better. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below your favorite WWE video game and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.